Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about reparations and reparations are on the rise. And I just want to first tell you guys what reparations are just in case you don't know. And so I looked it up in a dictionary and so it says that reparations is the making of an amends for wrong or injury done or something done or given to make amends. Usually reparations comes in a form of compensation and money, material, labor, etc. And this is paid out to the person that have been done wrong. Now, in the kingdom of heaven, there is a form of reparations. And I just want to tell you guys how that plays out in the kingdom of heaven. So, um, in the kingdom of heaven, it says in Genesis 6, 7 through 9, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So also in 2 Corinthians 9 and 6, it says the cheerful is about being a cheerful giver. And it says, but this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So I'm sure you guys, if you watch the news, you already heard of people wanting reparation for being in slavery. But guys, God has already done the reparations. And he does it constantly in people's lives. And that's where the sowing and reaping comes into play. So we do not have to worry about getting someone back, going to the government, trying to get them to pay us back. God has already paid people back for what, they're what they have done. He's paying people back for what they're doing today. If they are doing something wrong, if they are doing something wrong to themselves or to someone else, they are going to have to pay the price. They are going to experience, this, experience uncomfortable consequences for doing those things and it doesn't always come in monetary values like the dictionary says like the earthly people say it can come in a form of somebody getting sick because they've done somebody wrong it can come in a form of you know they got a maybe they got a cheating wife or a cheating husband or maybe their children are on drugs or maybe they're sick in their bodies. I mean, the consequences are endless to what God can do to that person to allow that person to reap what they sow, what they've sown. And also, on the reverse, if we sow good things, then we will reap good things. And that can come in some of the same forms. Yes, it can come in monetary um, in a monetary version, but it can also come in good health. You can have plenty of children that loves you. Um, you know, you can have a good spouse. You can have a good job where you're very passionate about it. It can come in all kinds of different versions. It doesn't have to be um, monetary wise or property wise. So guys, you do not have to use your willpower and your own energy to pay people back for what they've done to you. Trust in the Lord. Take courage in him. He will repay those what they are due, whether it's payment of good or payment of bad. It depends on what they have sown. 
So you don't have to worry about that. Be encouraged. Pray for them. The Bible said, pray for those that do you wrong. And it's like reaping hot coals upon them. So we pray for them because we would want people to pray for us because we know everybody has done somebody wrong along the way in their lives. And we would want God to have mercy upon our soul. Therefore, we look at them the same way. This person is, you know, was controlled by sin. And, you know, they don't know. Sometimes you're unconscious. You're not thinking that I'm being controlled by sin, that Satan is having his way in my life. So you pray for them. You pray that they would get saved, that God will... Uh, get a foothold in their lives and, and he, he they will be saved and he will save them and they will live to his glory. That's what you pray. And when you do, that helps you out. That helps you not become bitter and you will have a better life. You know, bitterness brings on stress and that can make you sick because you're harboring bad feelings against someone else. So put it in the Lord's hand let him take care of it. Cast your cares upon him. And you don't have to worry about that. And that makes for an easier life. Uh, so with that being said, I also want to add this. At the end, we know that this world will eventually end. And there will be a big reaping and sowing at that time. So if you have not accepted Christ, you will reap hell's fire damnation. But if you have accepted Christ, you will reap heaven where we will be up there praising the Lord. And you will also reap, if you have sown so many good seeds and done a lot of good works, you will get your just rewards up in heaven. You will get your crown of many jewels. You will get your mansion, you know. And the way the Bible reads it, it that does depends on what you have done on earth how big your mansion are, how many jewels you get in your crown. And somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't mind being corrected, but that's my understanding. So with that being said, if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ today, please say this prayer if you want him in your life, if you want to give your life to Christ, if you want him to be in control, if you want to relinquish all this anger and stuff, and mind you, you don't have to clean yourself up before you come to him. He will clean you up and he knows exactly how to do that. So if you haven't accepted Christ today, pray this prayer with me. Father, please forgive me for my sin. Father, I can't live this life on my own. I realize that now. I try to do right and I just can't do right. So I need some help. And that's why I'm coming to you, Lord God. Father God, I know that Jesus died for my sin. So I accept him as my Lord and Savior today. Lord, come into my heart. Take control of me. Have your way today. In Jesus' name. So if you pray that prayer today, you have been saved. And in order for you to grow, and I, what I mean by that is sometimes you might see Christians that may be doing things that you say, hmm, that doesn't seem like something a Christian would do. That comes because, you see that because that person doesn't spend a lot of time with the Lord. And spending time just means reading your Bible, studying your Bible, and praying. Just you and him one-on-one. -on -one. So if you don't have a Bible, there is a brown and gold Bible app on every smartphone that you can download for free and you can read and if uh, there's several versions so if one version you find it hard to understand just try a different version it's all free and you will be blessed and you will grow and it will be the best thing you have ever done trust me so with that being said i'm going to end this video Please, guys, like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you like my content. And I do appreciate you so much watching this video today. And I pray that you all will have a blessed one. Bye.